everybody, it's Adam with HeartValveSurgery.com. We're here at the Heart Valve Summit in Chicago, Illinois. Thrilled to be with Dr. Mark Gilinoff, who is the Chair of Cardiac Surgery at the Cleveland Clinic. Mark, thanks for being with us today. Thank you. Great. We were just talking about the different approaches to mitral valve therapy and mitral valve repair. And Mark, maybe you can share some of the great things that you're doing over there at the Cleveland Clinic. I think the most important thing, if you're going to have mitral valve repair surgery, is that the surgeon matches the approach to you. Meaning we can do a sternotomy, that's a regular heart surgery incision, we can do a partial sternotomy, and we can even do a robotic operation through the side with an incision about this big. Each of those is possible, but the real question is always going to be what's best for a given patient, because people always want the least invasive robotic approach. More often than not, that is a great choice, but we've got to make sure that we do the right thing in a given patient. And so in terms of your practice in the Cleveland Clinic, about how many patients who come to you with mitral valve disease are actually getting robotic therapy? Of the people who specifically have prolapse or degenerative disease or myxomatous disease, those all mean prolapse basically, about half to two-thirds will be candidates for a robotic approach. And this is based on a lot of preoperative screening. CAT scan, echo, cardiac catheterization, tell us if this is the best approach. And it's really great because, for example, the guy I operated on yesterday who had a robotic approach, little incision this big, but we were able to do a complete repair, same thing we would have done through a sternotomy, except he's sitting up in bed this morning having some orange juice and doesn't look like he had heart surgery much. Wow, that's amazing. And so he's off to probably a faster recovery getting back to his normal life, would you say? Exactly, and he got the, the very same high quality repair, but he'll be walking around later today, and in probably two, three weeks, he'll be 80 to 90%, no long recovery. Wow. Well, Mark, again, thank you for your time today, sharing your clinical experience with us, your research, and uh, your approaches here, leveraging many different tools, including robotics, to take care of the patients in our community. Thanks so much. Thank you.